Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Expeditions. In the last episode, we headed to um, Rusturf Tunnel, which is, by the way, that's the name of that place, Rusturf Tunnel, that we went to. Didn't mention it in the last episode, but I listed it on the bottom bar. Um, it is Rusturf Tunnel, and we helped um, one of the Devon researchers. Again, in this episode, we're going to take on a little optional battle here against our rival. Oh, hi, Junior. You had a match call feature put on your Pokemon app? Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Briney in Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. How's your Pokedex, com Pokedex coming along, Junior? Mine's looking pretty decent, so how about a little battle? Um, you, you, you don't have to do this battle. I'm just going to try to show as much as I can of Emerald as I possibly can, since uh, this is one of my favorite games, and I've played through it quite some time. Um, so I kind of know my own little things. I've researched more stuff on it. Anyway, we're going to battle here. So, let's just battle. Um, first up, if I... I'm going to try to do this as best as I can. She has a Wingle, which is water flying, and it knows the moves. Water Gun, Wing Attack, Supersonic Growl. If you chose Torchic, she's going to have a Slugma, which knows the moves. Yawn, Smog, Ember, Rock Throw. And if you chose Trico, she'll have a Lotad with the moves Nature, Power, Absorb, Astonish, and Growl. And I wasn't really paying attention, and this thing put me into, in confusion. In, confu in confusion. I'm going to stick with Trico here. I mean, Talo. I'm sorry. Okay, now she's going to have basically the opposite of your starter. So, um, that's Tri there's Trico with the moves Absorb, Leer, Pound, and Quick Attack. Um, if you chose Torchic, she's going to have Mudkip or he, because it can be Brendan if you're playing as a girl. Thought I'd just make that clear. Um, with Mudkip with the moves Water Gun, Bide, Mud Slap, and Growl. And if you chose Trico as your starter, show off Torchic, which has Ember, Scratch, Growl, and Focus Energy. I'll try to explain that better on the bottom bar if I can, you know, explain it very well in speaking. So that was the optional battle against May slash Brendan, depending on if you're playing as the boy or a girl in this game. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed, Junior, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Bunny was once a revered seafarer. Anyway, um, now we're back here, Route 104. Um, youth cut over here. Um, it's not, a, like, oh, so secret and such a cool item. But you can get an X accuracy over here, now that you have cut. Let's skip that battle there. Now, head into Petalburg Woods and come over here and use cut on this tree. And now you can enter this area over here. Let's see what's over here for you. There's this girl. Oh, neat. That's the batch from Rustboro Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item. She'll give you a miracle seed. Uh, if you have Trico, it's a good move to it. It'll boost the grass type starter. Oh, there's a Pokeball over there. It'll basically raise the Miracle Seed. It's not just for Trico. Just, just letting you know. It's not just for Trico. It'll boost uh, Grass-type moves of any Pokemon. Sorry that I actually showed that battle. Anyway, come over here and you can pick up a Great Ball. So now you have some already a few Pokeballs with you here. Um... Continue this way. Here's an. As I was saying, here's an item that you can pick up over here. An X attack. So now you have an X special X accuracy. X attack. And I don't think there's anything else for you over there. Right? Aha! But there's going to be. There's going to be a hidden item for you here. A tiny mushroom. Um, tiny mushrooms aren't anything in particular. They just can be sold at Marts, I believe. Okay. This guy right here. 
Sometimes there are things on the ground even you c even if you can't see them. That's why I always check where I'm walking. Anyway, let's pick up this item over here, which is a potion. And now continue on your way down here. And let's see what this girl says. You're a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. You should throw Pokeballs only at wild Pokeball Pokemon. And you get a Pokeball. What do you know? Anyway, remember this little cottage? Head back in here. And you'll see Mr. Bryony chasing his Pico. Anyway, stop him. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Hmm? You're Junior. You saved my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm, hmm. You have a letter bound for due for it, and a package for Slateport then. Quite the busy life you must leave, but certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You come to the right man. We'll set sail for due for Let's head on to do Ford. Um. So now you are in Route 105. I'm not gonna dis not gonna discuss the new Pokemon here on Route 105 until we actually you know can surf on Route 105 ourselves. Anyway, our dad will call because somehow he magically knows. Oh, he knows from from Devin, from Mr. Stone. Um, so your dad's gonna give you his number for your Pokenav. It's not like you could have gotten it later in the gym battle against him. But, I guess they just wanted to make things a little simple. In case you didn't get it yourself. Ahoy, we have hit land in Dufort. I suppose you'll have to deliver that letter to... Who was it now? Steven? Alright, um, this is Dufort Town. Pretty plain and simple. Come in here. Gorge your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right out of the cutting edge of fashion. Yeah. Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. So, this guy will give you a silk scarf, which I believe raises the moves of normal type Pokemon. Mm. I was right. I know these things. I know my Pokemon. Anyway, I head over here into... Dufort Hall. It's the everyone. It's everyone's information change. Um, nothing in here really. But if you come out here and talk to this guy, I like what's hip, happening, and trendy. I'm always checking it out. Listen, have you heard about this new, different making? That's right. Of course you know. I mean, sheesh, different making. It's the hottest thing and cool. Wherever you're from, different making is the biggest happening thing, right? Say no. It's not. And, uh, tell him what's in. Um, it'll be different for everything. Let's put spring beat. It doesn't really matter what you put. Okay, so basically what I typed in was spring beat. Basically, what that means is... Um, it'll affect where you can catch Phoebus, Phoebus, which is a Pokemon that, that changes depending on what you put in the thing. I have this all set out. Hold on, I gotta concentrate for a second. I'm not on the ball. I'm not on the... I'm not... I'm not, I'm not thinking straight. Um, basically that changes is to where you can catch Phoebus on Route 119. I have my information right here. Why don't I just look at it? Um... Let's see, I think it's this guy here. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you in the itch to fish? Basically, this guy will give you an old rod. Um, no, I don't want your fishing advice. I know how to fish. All you gotta do is you can put this item as a select item. Fish whenever you see, whenever a little exclamation point pops up, just press A. Let's see what's in here. Hmm, what do you have to say? There's a lot to be said for living on a small island like this in harmony with Pokemon and a family. Wait, how are our Pokemon? I'll be right back as soon as we go, as I go heal them. Cause, I'm gonna think about whether we're gonna train... Hold on, I'll just be right back as soon as I go heal my Pokemon. Okay, so now we're here in Dufort Town. Now, 
before we head over to Granite Cave, which is where Steven is located, spoilers, um, we're actually going to take on the gym. Because in taking on the gym, then when you go to grab a Granite Cave, it'll make the exploration in Granite Cave a little easier. And you'll see what I mean by that in a while. But let's head in here. Oh my goodness, it's so dark everywhere and you can only see my camera lens. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Jr.? Dewford's gym leader, Brawly, commands fighting type Pokemon. Going against him with normal type Pokemon is asking for trouble. Pokemon fighting Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on normal Pokemon, so be careful. I just heard thunder. It always seems to be thundering or raining when I'm recording, but I love the rain. Anyway, not the point. What's worse, the gym is as dark as the ocean floor. But it will get brighter after defeating the trainers in your way. Hey, okay for it. So basically he said that after you beat a gym trainer, the light will come on. But I believe I know the path to take to where you don't have to battle a single trainer. Just take this path that I'm taking. Apparently, I don't know the way. But anyway, what I was going to do, anyway, is battle all the trainers in here anyway to get some experience for the gym leader. So I'll be right back as soon as I battle all of the gym leaders because this gym leader can be a little bit on the challenging side. So, be right back. Okay, really quickly, in this battle, Mudkip is going to evolve into... Marsh Tom. Our first evolved Pomon. Marsh Tom is now a water and ground type. And is going to learn Mud Shot. A very, very good move. I'm gonna actually get rid of this one. Let's get rid of obviously Mud Slap. And that's also what will happen when you defeat a gym trainer. The lights will get brighter. Now I'm going to be back as soon as I battle the rest of the gym trainers here in the D4 gym. Oh, you can see my hands again. Sorry. Alright, I battled all the gym trainers in the, obviously in the gym. And this is Brawly. I'm not going to take on Brawly in this episode because we have a short amount of time. And I could fit it in, but I don't want to fit it in because I don't want to make this video 15 minutes. So I'm gonna battle Brawly on the next Pokemon Emerald Expeditions and then head to Granite Cave. See you then.